You see this? This is sun. California hasn't seen sun for like four weeks. I know that's crazy to think because it's winter time, but it's been pouring rain here and it feels so nice to just see some sun, have some a little bit of warmth and uh, ready to hit the day rolling. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about the MagMod MagSphere and how it will definitely impact your flash photography for all sorts of events, weddings, whatever it is, but it's a great device and I recommend you get one of these. All right, getting ready for today. Gotta get into my office here. Shut the door because we're recording and change the uh, ND filter. I'm gonna do one shameless plug here. Uh, I've got some photos up on my website and I think uh, you might wanna check them out. You can get them printed in all different kinds of sizes, a metal format, prints, or even in a framed format. So this one, obviously, of Golden Gate Bridge, it's so in its packaging, uh, but it is so good. The crazy thing about it is you can actually see like detail in like this woman's like keychain here. Um, it's just so incredible, I love it. And you can see some birds that are flying. Those are not Photoshopped in, by the way. These are real birds, so in case you're asking. But either way, I have some other prints, like one here of Capri, which is quite amazing. Um, this is of the Palace of Fine Arts, taken from my drone. Got another one. I think this one's actually off, so off the website, so you can't purchase that one yet. Um, but then some Positano, so yeah, check them out. So before we really dive into the MagSphere today, just want to address why I'm making this video. And I think everyone that's in wedding photography or is using some sort of flash and event photography could probably relate to this. But using something like this sometimes is challenging, especially when knowing where to point the light. And so the MagSphere is kind of like a cheat code but for flash photography and event photography. So if you're looking to help make it easier for you, then this is definitely the video for you. One last little plug here. John Branch has a great video on the MagSphere and he was the one that actually encouraged me to buy the tool. So I'm gonna link his video in the description so you can go and watch that one as well. Guess I'll turn out the light. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the MagMod MagSphere today, which is this sweet design. It's a little tough, it's a magnet here. Uh, this is probably the greatest tool for any event photographer. If you're just looking to get into flash photography and you're not sure really where to go, especially if you're like a wedding photographer looking to upgrade uh, your, your kit, but most times what you're kind of stuck with is this type of flash. This is my Sony flash, it's a little reflector, and I pull it all out, you get the card and the bounce card. This thing will help project the uh, the light a little bit, you know, bendy, all sorts of nifty things about this one. Um, and most people do start off with this, wedding photographers, there's no problem shooting with this, it's just a different type of light that's actually hitting your subjects. Um, you can throw these up on the stands, you can put them um, in different corners, use them as backlights, so it's, it's really great to use. The MagMod MagSphere, however, is just a simple tool to add to your kit to really give you a soft, diffused light. You can also get hard light out of it by pointing it at your subject directly, but the great thing about this is that you don't have to bend this thing all over the place trying to project the light. Essentially, how this thing works I'm not even kidding, it is this easy. The flash is surrounded by a magnet. This comes as a kit. Then this has some powerful magnets on it and boom, it sticks to it. But when you have this on top of your camera, all you really have to do is keep it pointed straight up. If you're shooting horizontal, straight up. If you're shooting vertical, you tilt it straight up. And this sphere here, this, this sphere, <laughs> this sphere just takes the light, bounces it all around here, and projects it everywhere. It does a extremely great job of diffusing the light. It's like a soft box. Really what it does is it creates softer light and makes your subjects look much better. Now I know there's a major trend out there with having a hard, like 
extreme light on your subject, which is cool in certain scenarios, but sometimes you want more of a flattering light, something that really encompasses your subject and the light falls softly on them and it doesn't look too rigid. It more looks like you're in a studio. So when you're using the MagSphere and you're out at a reception or you're on the dance floor or even in broad daylight, it really helps to illuminate your subject in a way that is so soft and is so flattering to uh, any sort of photography landscape that you're, you're involved in at that moment. Um, when I picked this thing up, um, I went from you know your typical hard flash, bouncing it off the ceilings, having to figure out you know which way I'm gonna point it to get the soft light, to literally just keeping this thing straight up uh, about 90% of the time. To give you a couple of examples, I'm gonna put a couple here on the video so that you can see. And I've used this in a variety of settings. Like I said, it's either been on the dance floor, it's been in tight quarters, I've been at a wedding before and shot this in crowds. One was at night uh, in the backyard, so I was able to illuminate quite a bit around your subjects. And the other one was in a reception hall midday, but it still did a fantastic job of being able to light everyone up. So as you can see, it gives beautiful light on your subjects and it's so easy to just move around. So I highly recommend picking one of these up. All right, so that's it for the video. I hope that you found this useful and maybe you're thinking about now going out and picking up the MagMod MagSphere. If you happen to have it and you use it and you're just watching this video because you wanna see others' experiences, leave a comment in the uh, comments below. I'd love to hear about what you think about it or uh, if you know any other better tools, just throw it in there as well because I always wanna learn and the community could learn as well. So. Anyway, that's it. I uh, really appreciate you stopping in for this video and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Have a great one.